Hello and welcome back. This is Dr. Jerry Como again. I'm just going to go over what we've just, um, we're picking up number 31. It's a Emacs crown preparation. So what I normally do is just take a scaler and I go around and suction a lingual place. I go around and just double check for any ledges in enamel, especially in the inner prox. I want to make sure there's nothing that's going to flake off. And I check the adjacent tooth for any overhangs. And I also polish a contact with this, um, I call it a crown and bridge disc from Shofu. Thank you. Suction off. Uh, this disc works really well on the distal here of the adjacent tooth. And then the final thing is to go around with a yellow cup to polish the, uh, the prep itself. All right, so that's a nice thing. Suction now just to rinse that off. Now we're going to place retraction cord and a sublingual saliva ejector. Get ready for our impression. Today we're going to use uh, the Aquasil Ultra XL V, I believe it's called XLV Fast Set. So three minutes, uh, as soon as you mix it, you load it in the mouth. Three minutes later, presto, you got an impression. So, so I'm going to use Siltrack 7 and my packing instrument is a, basically it's just a composite instrument, it's a gold plated composite instrument and we'll lay that around even though we're super G. Uh, pretty much everywhere. Actually, I'm just going to pack the mesial on this one, so scissors, please. Suction, please. All right. Uh, we may toggle back and forth. I might use an explorer. All depends. Uh, the key key is to stay underneath. Don't create a trough in the soft tissue. And so using smaller instruments sometimes to get around angles are important. There we go. And uh, we'll use the scissors again. And just take off what we don't need. Like I said, we're not coming all the way around 360 degrees of the tooth. We're just packing the mesial. So pretty atraumatic. Right now, if you have a scanner, you could scan the prep. I'm still not scanning. I'm going to wait till we're at the laptop level. I don't need to bring a large piece. So we're going to pack the next cord, and then I'll take the shade small piece of two ply and you can almost say we do we really have to pack I think at this point definitely you want a little bit of gain beyond the margin on that mesial so we'll do that this happens to be our stump shade and this is ND8. That's pretty close to where we're heading. ND8. This one would be ND6. Uh, it's very close to either. I think it'd be a, be fine with either. And that'll tell the. I would say ND8. And that will tell the technician to go with a light translucent, a very light translucent. Uh, we don't want anything heavy on translucency, so because what they'll do is opaque out some of the darker shade of the tooth itself in the ceramic. So it's in a uh, it's in a non-aesthetic zone. So you know you, you just want to get something that blends nicely in there, and it's strong. You know. Okay. And we'll come around the corner. There we go. Let's see how much that tissue can actually tolerate. I 
coming in from an angle. Again, you need instruments that come in from different angles. I, I like to use the uh, Explorer at times. Sometimes I'll switch to that composite instrument. Yeah, going in on an angle. Again, we're not going vertically. Not like prepping the tooth. So creating a little space. I think at this point we'll bring in a little bite block made of styrofoam for our patient so he can rest on that. Alright, that's good. Now what I'm going to do is leave that cord in there. I'll just cut a piece of it off <coughs> and have nothing showing so we can just go right to the impression. Now there's a special material a, a paint on that I have to use for the Aquasil and they just want a small amount of that on the surface of the tooth and that helps with surface tension and gives us a better final impression. Um, so right now all we did was wash the tooth with water. We rinsed it with water, so we're going to use a cavity cleanser to just go ahead and <coughs> and just make sure we don't have any debris on the tooth. That's just a 15 second application and then we'll rinse that off. And now I'm going to dry the tooth. And I'm going to recheck everything. Okay, that thing looks pretty good. So first thing I'm going to do is paint on this material. I don't need much of it. it liberally all the way around our tooth and we're going to lightly suction that off and it's just like a surface for surface uh, tension all right again this is fast set so as soon as my dental assistant starts mixing so will I I'll be injecting the material. I'm going to go up in here first and extrude some and then I'll come around the tooth 360 degrees. I am going to displace that. Hold that please. I need it back. I'm just going to displace it a little bit. We're all kind of creatures of habit. it for that. All right, Pierre, you can go ahead and close all the way down. You okay? All right, so in about three minutes, we'll know what uh, we have. Three minutes, all right. It's Dr. Jerry Cuomo. I'll show you the impression when we're done. Take care.